Hey, hey, hello. Welcome to another episode of Owning a Bullzoi. This is terrible. I'm sorry. Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here and do a quick episode about what it's like having borzois and now a new baby. I was going to include the baby in this video, but he is sleeping and the whole never wake a sleeping baby thing is absolutely, <laughs> absolutely real. You don't ever want to do that. That's the advice number one. Um, number two, I didn't really know how my dogs were going to take having a kid and that's, you know, was pretty scary. You know, you bring your child home. First of all, childbirth is a wild ride. It is insane. And they just kind of like you go to the hospital and you come home with a new thing. Like, bah, here's a child. Uh, and you don't really know what the hell you're doing. At the same time, your dogs are like, who, oh, what is that? I think they recognize, at least Sally's did and so did Aura, that that's like part of you. I think smells, of course. But you always have to be careful. You don't really know how dogs react. I've read so many articles about horror stories about um, babies and dogs and leaving babies alone. So I had really, you know, I was really freaked out. Luckily, both of my girls are super, super cool with the baby. In fact, if you've been watching any of my short form stuff, Aura absolutely loves to lick the baby. I think it's a source of nutrients for her now. I think probably a good portion of her calories come from licking stuff off the baby. Sally's has gotten super protective of the baby, which is something I'll go into a little bit later. Um, you know, so I've talked about how in previous videos, how Borzois are good with good family dogs. They're good with kids, but they're very sensitive. They're not going to take a toddler, like running up to them, grabbing, pulling their fur, that sort of stuff. You know, they, they get really anxious in that sort of situations. Depends on the dog, of course, and also depends on the kid, but they can be kind of skittish. And I'm not saying they're going to retaliate or bite, but they do get very spastic when a kind of like what I did right there. But it's just like they do get very spastic when a kid is like approaching them or grabbing them or yanking on them, that sort of thing. So I've always said bringing a Borzoi into a family is kind of, um, you know, I wouldn't say hit or miss, but you really got to be careful. So aside from Aura licking the kid, uh, which we try to mitigate, it's kind of, it's this really tough zone. You don't want to tell them like, that's a bad thing. So you don't want them to associate the kid with being like a negative thing. So you kind of have to be like, uh, guide them away from it. You know, I don't want the uh, dogs licking my kid all the time, but I, not really much you can do when they're that fast and their their noses can go like right into the bassinet and, and lick them. It's crazy. Another thing, and this is totally aside, if you are watching this and you're like, I have a kid coming, I'm pregnant, I'm I'm expecting, I'm going to plan to have a kid, there are such incredible technologies out here available for uh, child rearing that our parents never had. The most important one, and this is not an advertisement, they make a thing called a snoo, which is like this freaking hyper technologically advanced uh, bassinet that like will lull your kid to sleep. It's got movement and sounds and it's just, it's crazy. It works amazingly. Like I haven't been so like, I, you know, my, my mom was like, you have to suffer when you have a kid. So I'm not suffering. I'm actually getting great night's sleep because of this, uh, apparatus. The only reason why I'm saying this is because large dogs, these included, they can go right over into a bassinet and, um, lick a child and in the snoo your kids like swaddle down like in a little straight jacket type thing i know it sounds crazy but babies love to be like little straight jackets and stuff so that's like just a holding a popsicle so you gotta be aware when your dog is coming into the room and just licking the baby because before we got like a little camera on there we didn't realize that a lot of the, like the little cry outbursts where that aura would come in and take advantage of this and and lick the child. Luckily, a lot of stuff that I've I've <laughs> read about is dogs introducing healthy bacteria to babies and dogs or babies that are around dogs tend to have better gut biomes and skin biomes. It's this um, it seems great. Um, in previous videos, I talked about this is total segue, totally non sequitur, kind of how I'm feeling right now. Um, I've talked about how good borzois are on the leash, and they are. They're incredibly good on the leash. You got to have a Martindale collar. They learn easily, you know, cues and that sort of thing, as long as they have the confidence to do so. However, and I've never experienced this with a dog. When we had the child, Sally's got extremely protective. 
I'm not talking aggressive, but very, very protective. So again, these are normally not very great watchdogs, but you know, if Locke is outside, Locke is my son. If Locke is outside and Sally's outside and somebody walks by, she's barking. Like she's up in their face. We had an incident where Tina was taking um, Locke for a walk as long along with um, Aura and Sally's. Normal interactions. Normally this is no problem, but another dog, which was off leash for a second, no don't shade no shade on the owners. They didn't they didn't realize somebody would be there. It's a fairly rural area. They put the dog on the leash, but Sally's went to like warrior mode, which we've never seen. So she was just going crazy, yelling at this dog, kind of like staying away from my family. And what's weird, if she's out alone and she's not with the baby, none of this energy happens. So that's one thing to be cognizant of that certain dogs get very, very protective of young kids, which I think is cool. Like I was like, this is awesome. I finally have a guard dog that I've always wanted. Um, so yeah, I have no idea if this is good advice or bad advice to anybody, but uh, so yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. And I want to continue doing this series. I want to test out a new camera rig. I'm working on some long format series using this. I'm going to do, I'm, I'm not going to ruin what it is. It's going to be really fun. Uh, if there's any other topics you guys want to talk about in this vein, you know, I want to keep doing educational stuff, even though I've been doing Mantis Manor and, and making uh, Hill Pigs explode on After Effects. I just want to make sure that we're, <laughs> that I'm also servicing the people that come to this page that really want to learn about Borzois. If there's anything you want to know about these crazy dogs and what they're like to live with, please, please put it in the comments. And thank you for listening to me ramble.